Well, um, again, I didn't really expect that. Ugh. All throughout this episode, I didn't think the Yellow Tribe would go to Tribal, and then when they end up losing immunity, I'm like, it's totally gonna be this person going, and it was the other person going. Ugh. Goes to show, even I can really be thrown for a loop, huh? Okay, so, uh, talking about, um, other stuff, well... For what was going on in the Blue Tribe, it was just a repeat of what happened, uh, last time, mostly. Although Joe actually did manage to find an idol due to the fact that they were um, all hidden in the uh, same location. Which means I also forgot to, uh, mention that, uh, Mike found the idol at the Red Tribe. So how do I feel about these two finding it in the same location? Um, they've done this multiple times, so it's not a huge deal by any stretch of the imagination, so, uh, yeah, I'm not too uh, bothered by this, and it does make it more interesting, which is one reason why I'm, I was kind of hoping the Yellow Tribe would win, because it would make, um, the possibility for a more interesting tribal, at least that's what I felt, especially the Blue Tribe would have gone to a tribal, so that summarizes that up, and I'm real curious to see how Joe is going to interact in this merge. On the Red Tribe, Cole gets into a, even more of a hole, especially after he passes out due to, um... I don't know, it's not exactly heat exhaustion, I think he just stood up too fast, so it's like the blood rushing through his head, so it's probably just simple dehydration. And I didn't mention the uh, preview bit where he fell down, because I'm like, to be honest, I don't think that this will be a big deal, and I was right. It wasn't a big deal at all, though it did cement that... He would have been voted out had they went to tribal, because I really do not think uh, Mike would have uh, stayed with the, his fell, former healer tribe members at that point, right. And then those challenges, those were uh, nice challenges. People really had to work together and hard on those things, because... The amount of times that people dropped the buoys as they were going through the course, yeah, and then I didn't even think about the uh, platforms with the slingshots moving in the waters like that, yeah, that puts a whole different emotion to that, like I would totally fail at that since I suffer slight bits of every sickness, motion, sea, air, even though I think those are variants of motion sickness as well, so... Yeah, so good job on the people doing as good as they were. And then that immunity challenge, that was actually really creative. I mean, like, sure, it's just a variant of what we saw in Co Ron and Game Changers, where everybody had the unsteady platform, and then they had to stack up the blocks for... <sighs> to spell immunity, but... That was interesting, and it was also really interesting to figure out how Red was able to hold the ropes in such a way way that uh, the person who had to put the block could literally just walk right out there, set it down, and there wasn't anything to worry about. That was awesome, and it's also really interesting to note that the Red Shrine never lost a challenge in the swap, and that Ben, Cole, and Jessica participated in every challenge, as far as I can recall, so... Yeah, Mike, Jessica, and Cole never lost a challenge, and Ben hasn't lost a challenge since the very first challenge. Well, the first immunity challenge. Sorry about that, but... Hmm. Interesting. Although, um... Was there any winner-take-all before the storm? No, I don't think so. But I was still surprised that Yellow lost, because I totally thought it would be one of the other two, because I was like, there really isn't that much discussion going on in that tribe, because, like, I didn't even mention the bit where, um, they came back from tribal and Allie was kind of flipping out. So, they all, um, get back, and JP was totally getting the edits in my mind, where I'm like, he's going, because, like... Why would Ryan stick it to Allie again? You know, get rid of JP and just try and stress something. Because I do not think that Chrissy's relationship with JP is that deep. Just, I, I just cannot see that. 
Although JP did demonstrate that he was kind of dumb, given how fast he flipped, although, um, again, I, uh, uh actually, I didn't contradict that yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm contradicting myself. Get your act together, okay. So they go to tribal, then to my amazement, Ali ends up going. Sheesh, Ryan, two backstabs and two subsequent episodes. Ooh, dear, even though, to be fair, he didn't really backstab Rorik, he really backstabbed Ali twice, yeah. Should would be uh, looking out for himself in these next couple of episodes. So we've got the merge, like I figured, and I really am curious to find out if they do nine or eight member jury because they could go either way, honestly. And do I think that there's going to be another advantage? Probably, although I do think that they'll stick to two idols. Could be right about that. We'll see.